is Thursday, December 7th. Um, I haven't sat down in quite a few days to actually talk about like projects, knitting, any of that. I've had like a really <laughs> crummy week. It's just, I guess, the time of year mixed with just like general stress. So it's been a little bit. I was hoping to have a couple more episodes posted between the last one and this one. It just didn't happen. But today I'm feeling a little bit better than I have this majority of this week. So I thought I would sit down and check in and show you what I've been working on and what's been going on this week. I am wearing a Mary Korgmas. Oh, you can't really see it. It says Mary Korgmas because I have a corgi. <laughs> uh, just a cute little Christmas sweatshirt pullover. I think I... I don't know where I got this. <laughs> I bought it one year. Um, yeah, so who knows, but it's cute. I love it. I'm already caffeinated enough today, so I'm holding off on another cup of coffee. I have my <laughs> hospital water cup from whenever I had my baby. Don't need a Stanley. Here's a $20,000 cup right here. <laughs> But no, I had some coffee this morning, um, and then at lunch I had a Coke Zero. So I'm good on caffeine for now because I might have either another cup of coffee later or maybe just some hot chocolate. Um, but yeah, so it's just water for now to hydrate. Okay, so no finished objects since last episode. So let's go ahead and dive into some whips. I'm pretty excited about what I've been working on. So, hang on. Let me take, I have like all my bags in a bigger bag. So let's just kind of take this all out. So I can't remember what episode it was, but a couple of episodes ago, I said that I wasn't going to pick up my DK jelly blanket and just focus on gift knitting. Um, so I did finish that one pair of socks on my nine inch circulars. That was for a gift. Sorry, I've got like fuzz or something. Okay, so since I did finish that pair of nine inch circulars and I got to a good place on my muscle burn that I'm knitting as a gift, I'll get to that in a minute, um, I picked up my DK jelly blanket and added some more colors to it. So, just in this huge by the bay bag, co bag. <laughs> By the Bay Bag Co. Bag. Okay. So, last time I showed my blanket. Here's a, a little corgi stitch marker. I was just finishing a second strip. So I have got to the top. And since I still had more of this color, I just picked it right back up at the bottom and began with that, used the rest of that, and then added ooh, this speckled blue. And then I just finished last night this like Halloween-y color. Um, super cute with like the green, purple, orange, and blacks in there. And so now I have about this much of the scraps left. So I'm just gonna stop here and go ahead and add a new color. But it's looking so good. I love it, it's hard to show. <laughs> Sorry, my hair is like all in my face right now. But yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It felt really good to pick this back up and I was very glad that I did. So definitely gonna continue to knit on that. I was going through my yarn and I kind of rearranged some stuff and I actually put, let me show you this because I have it right here. I had this basket. I can't remember where it came from, but <laughs> hopefully this doesn't fall. I put like all of my scraps in this basket. So this is just stuff I've already used yarn from. Um, 
and these will be like heels toes cuffs or just like scrappy socks or something this is just like scraps to pull from so genuine scraps um so I went through that, put that all together in that basket, and then anything that I hadn't put in my blanket yet, I just wound off more. So this is my little Ziploc baggie of stuff that's going to go in my DK jelly blanket. So I will continue to add those in. So that's whip number one. Uh, next is my Musselberg that I have been knitting as a gift for my uncle. I'm so close to being done. I, I want to have this done by this weekend so I can coordinate with him, um, when I can give it to him because he does live kind of far from me. So I finished the length. Oh, here's my stitch marker. I think from when I showed it from last time. So I've worked a little bit more than an inch probably. So I finished the length. Now before I start the decreases, I just need to weave in my tail from cast on. And then I can do the decreases and then give her a good block and it'll be good to go. I just love how this came out. So that is that work in progress. And then since that is in a good place and almost done, I did cast on another project. And it is another Musselberg. And this is one for my son. So this is gonna go speedy quick if I had to guess. But I started with my pinhole cast on. There's my tail there. And I've started the increases. I did have to measure his head last night because I needed to figure out what size I needed to make him. So I think I've got a few more to go before I'm at the spot where I need to be. But I love this blue grayish black we have going on here. Let's see, here's the yarn. Oh, it's a little getting a little messed up. That's okay. Isn't that so pretty? I love this. I really don't knit with a lot of blue, but I am digging this color a lot. It is from Mace of Skeins. And this was actually, I bought this yarn at Fiberfest, 2022 Fiberfest, and it actually came let me see if I can reach it. Okay, it actually came in a three skein pack. That was a Fiberfest exclusive from 22. Um, and these are actually on her all her old bases because she completely redid uh, her bases. And But I bought this in a three pack and let me hold them up together. They look so good together. And originally I bought them together. I was gonna make a shawl with them, but as I figured out this past year, they're not really my thing. I don't wear them a lot. I have plenty of scarves that I already have that just, you know, are bought from the store. And it doesn't get cold here in Texas a whole, whole lot for me to keep knitting shawls. So I just didn't. So I'm just using the yarn for other projects. Gosh, these look so stinking good. Oh, I wish I could have knitted something together with them. Maybe I'll still do something with these two together in whatever's left over from this. I don't know, we'll see. Gosh, they look so good. Holy cow. Uh, okay, anyways, <laughs> the colors. So this one here, and these are all on her club old club base so this is old um and it was the 8020 superwash merino nylon blend um and it's fingering weight and the color 
for the blue was cowboy butts. And then this like red and blue tan brown speckled one. This is dirty cowboy. Oh gosh. I think I just refell in love with these colors. And then this red one is Rodeo Queen. Gosh. Dang. <laughs> I mean, I definitely have to stick these together somehow. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to search in Ravelry for some projects of something that I could get all these yarns together with. I mean, look at that. Beautiful. Well done, Macy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so good. Okay, yeah, but that was that was my new cast on. Um, yeah, so once I finish up the other Musselberg for my uncle, I'm really gonna get going on those on the one for my son. And then I haven't picked up my Find the Joy socks in a while and I'm kind of surprised. I think just because I was trying to finish a ton of other stuff. And with the just crazy week it's been, I haven't picked it up. I will show it just because it's too good to not, not to show, right? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so these are my Find the Joy socks by Crazy Sock Lady. I had gotten through the gusset decreases. And so now I'm just on the foot. Oh, look at that. So stinking good. And the colors look amazing together. I do have a larger gap than normal on either side of where I did my heel flap and picked up stitches. Cause I, I picked up an extra stitch. I guess I don't know what was going on there. So I'll have to go back and weave that in a little bit better whenever, or enclose that up better once I go back and weave in my ends on the inside. So we'll see, but yeah, I'd like to pick this up again here in the next couple days and finish that and get the other sock going. So yeah, not technically a whip. I mean, it is, but I haven't worked on it since last time, but I just had to show it just because it's such a beautiful pattern. Okay, so what I'm gonna show next is some new yarn that has come into my stash and it's exciting. I'm very excited. So I did a sock swap. Um, basically, you're partnered up with a buddy, you fill out some questions, get to know each other, and you swap yarn. Um, and this was just like a sock yarn, so just any sock yarn. Sorry, my dog was making sounds. So you're partnered up, and she put together such an amazing box. I think I have everything here that she included in the box. Some of the stuff is already put up and I just you know don't know where it is or it's just put away somewhere. But I'm definitely gonna show some of the stuff that was included in my box and it is so good. I'll save the yarn for last because I think that's my favorite part. <laughs> so one of the things that came in my box were these little corgi stitch markers. Look how cute they are. Hi. And I have a corgi, so see that one looks more like mine. Cause mine's a tricolor. <laughs> and then I got these little handmade tags that you can sew into your stuff. I got, what are they called? It's like a little nail thing where they're not press on nails. Is it nail wraps? I think is what it's called. Those are somewhere put away in my bathroom. There was some candy in there that I already ate. There was a card. I feel like there was something else in there that I might be forgetting. But here's the yarn that she included and they are 
perfect. Okay, so the first one is a DK uh, skein. You know, I don't know where the card is because this was an oopsie and I, I lost the card <laughs> on what the yarn is from. I want to say it's from Sorella. Sorella? Yeah. But it's like this greenish color. I can't remember what collection it's from, but it's gorgeous. Like, I love this so much. It's a little more deeper green in person, but it's so good. And then this, I'm so excited. So I've been wanting to try yarn from ZZ Textiles for quite some time. And on her Instagram, she had patina, which I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I just never got any. It was just either not in the budget or I just missed pre-order or whatever it was. But my partner had a sock set in her stash and she gave it to me. <gasps> Isn't it gorgeous, you guys? Ah. Oh. Just that sea foamy, tealy, like, you know, it's just, it's patina. It's patina. Like, there's no other way to put it. And it's just gorgeous. So definitely going to have to knit up a pair of socks with these. But yeah, it's just patina, 75-25 mix. And then the mini, it doesn't say what color the mini is so I'm not sure on that colorway but oh I'm so excited like I cannot wait to create a pair of socks from those so thank you to Melanie my sock swap partner I hope you enjoyed your box I had a lot of fun with this it's always fun whenever you can just give stuff to each other from your stash it's stuff that maybe you're not inspired by anymore but other people are and it's just so fun Okay, that was good. So let's pivot into some non-yarny fiber things. So I've been mentioning I wanted to start sticker stories, which I saw online on Instagram from Mary Cherry LA. Um, that's where I saw this inspiration and she's been doing like, it's just, it's healing really. Like I can't describe it any other way. So I have my little sticker story journal and originally I told myself like, oh, I'll just do one a day or just spend 10 minutes a day doing this. And I thought I was really going to have to like force myself to like sit down and do it. But once I sat down and started stickering, like I couldn't stop. It was really hard to stop. So you can see my sticker stories I've done so far. And I'll just do whatever is in my brain. Of course, a caffeinated one. I have a yarn one. And this is just stickers, washi tape, scrapbook paper. I think this one might be one of my favorites. Just like this little part. I'm not too wild. I might take this washi tape off if it doesn't rip. The, nope, it won't rip the paper. We're just going to take that off. I wasn't wild about it. I was going to try to do some type of like sky since I have like a little garden going on. But yeah, this is coming right off. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, I like that a lot better without. I don't, so this to me isn't done, but I really like what we have going on so far. So I'll probably still add to that. And then I have this one here. So good. But yeah, I've really been enjoying that. I'll just try and find stickers whenever I go to the craft store or something like that. Um, yeah, I love it. So that's been a lot of fun and just like <sighs> calming doing that. 
Okay, let's do reading, listening, and watching. Or reading, watching, listening. I can't remember what order <laughs> I do it in. Um, reading, so I still haven't touched the Green Mile. So that is just going to still be on hold. But I thought I would start a new book to kind of like just get back into gear. And one of my favorite authors is Linwood Barclay. Barclay. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, his books are amazing. They, I'm pretty sure like 99% of them all take place in the same like universe, so to speak. You don't have to read all of them to know what's going on. There are just some cool Easter eggs in them. There are, are a couple books. It's like, oh, read this and then read this, but it's only like one or two of them. But the rest of them, you'll just see nice little Easter eggs. So if you've read the other books, then it's like a nice little call out. And you're like, oh, haha, like, oh, I remember them. I remember that place. Or I remember like that story, whatever it was. But nothing to where you're going to be lost if you don't read the others. But I have my book uh, in my little book cover here. I got this. Oh, hang on. Snap that back in. I got this at my community farmer's market. Still working on my TBR pile, so to be read. And it does have a pocket, like this is a pocket, and then this is a pocket, so I have a bookmark in here. This doesn't matter very much. Oh, and oh, in the back is a pocket too. I didn't realize that. Nice. Okay, but it has like a little snap. Oh, and I have my book in there. So I literally. I'm on like page one, just started this, uh, but it is the 23. And yeah, so I have no idea what this is gonna be about yet. I literally just started reading page one. What page am I on? Yeah, like technically I'm on the second chapter, but the first chapter was like one page. <laughs> But his books are really great. I love them so much. Um, all his other, all, there there aren't any of his books that I have disliked. I have liked every single one of his books that I've read. And I read, like, when I read them, like, I am in it. So I figured this would be a good book to kind of reignite my reading. And then hopefully then, after I make some progress in here, then I'll want to pick up pick back up the green mile. So that is reading. Watching, um, I've just been kind of watching Christmas movies on my own during my lunch break. I've watched The Holiday, Four Christmases. I think that's it so far. And then in the evenings, my husband We'll watch The Big Bang Theory. We are behind on Monarch, Legacy of Monsters. And so we definitely have some, I think one or two episodes to watch. I think another episode comes out tonight. So we need to watch that. Um, and then I've also picked back up One Tree Hill again. I just finished the last season uh, last night. I stayed up late by myself to finish it. I was just sobbing. <laughs> It's so good. Uh, yeah, that I've watched them all like at least a dozen times. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been watching. Listening, I do have my Spotify wrapped 2023 playlist that I have been listening to and then a Christmas time playlist that I've been listening to as well. So between those two, that's just really what I've been listening to lately. Um, and then a couple podcasts here and there. I listen to Crime Junkie every Monday. This might get weird. Um, oh, and the Drama Queens podcast as well. So those are my podcasts that I like go through every week. Um, yeah. So that is that. Okay. All right, so let is let's let's round her out, close out the episode, of course, with my three simple joys. So especially with kind of like the hard week that I've had this week, simple joy number one is 
I can't say it because my dog's in here, but going for a W-A-L-K <laughs> has been so great. Just like during my lunch break, um, I will go take myself on a stroll <laughs> and it has just been so nice. I take the dog with me because of course, and then like I'll do like one lap and then bring her back and then finish out the rest by myself. And it's just so nice because I work from home. So I'm literally at home inside by myself all day. And so it really is nice just to take that time to step away from my computer and just get fresh air, especially before it really starts to get cold or if we get into freezing weather, it is supposed to get more cold next week. But the, the weather's been beautiful lately. And so I'm just really taking advantage of that time. Um, simple joy number two um, has been sticker stories. And again, it's just been so therapeutic. It's just like, it doesn't add to my mental load. It is very just like, I can just be and like get it all out. So that's been really great. And then simple joy number three has been Christmas music. Um, usually whenever at my old job, whenever I was commuting, I had like basically an hour commute. I would listen to Christmas music all the time. So it felt like really cheery and stuff. But now since I'm at home and not in the car, like I do play music for myself throughout the day. And then so whenever I like take a break or I'm cleaning the kitchen or something like that, I just turn my Christmas time Spotify playlist on, on the Bluetooth speaker around the house and just listen to it. And it's so nice and extra cozy. All right, so that is this week. Those are my simple joys. That's what I've been working on. That's some more yarn in my stash. So yeah, I need to get this edited, get it up and hopefully start recording uh, maybe tomorrow, another couple days, um, kind of in my life vlog slash sit down episode. Um, so I hope you are enjoying these episodes and that they are a little bit more fre frequent this month um, as we get ready for Christmas and the holidays and any other holidays that you may celebrate. Uh, yeah, so I need to finish up my day. Um, get things going and then I need to get ready to go pick up my son later. Yeah. So until next time, stay caffeinated.